Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you and introduce you to the tab bar control coming from the UNO toolkit. So the tab bar is, is basically a specialized items control that we're using to display uh, tab bar items, um, basically so you can have a strip of actionable items, whether it's at the top or the bottom or in the middle of your screen, wherever you'd like. Um, uh, you could tap on these, you can do it to drive navigation, you can do it to drive um, visibility of views, you can do it to, for whatever you'd like. So there is a lot of information and a lot of customization that you can do with tab bars and tab bar items. Definitely go check out the docs. This is the tab bar and tab bar item article in the toolkit section of our documentation. Um, it is a large document. There's a lot uh, that you can go through. So. Um, for this reason, this is going to be the first in our series of many tab bar related and tab bar item related uh, tech bytes. Uh, we're going to dive into a lot of details, a lot of customizations that you can do with the tab bar. And so this is just going to be our first intro to tab bar. Um, and we could take a look at what the tab bar actually looks like in different forms. And so here I have a material styled application. I'm using Toolkit and Uno Material together. And we have a top tab bar style on the right, uh, sorry, on the top here on the on, on our application. And we also have a bottom tab bar uh, style here. So these are both at the base, just tab bars that have specialized styles placed on them to customize the selection indicator, to customize um, you know, the states that are going on here. And you'll see that um, I'm actively uh, reacting to which tab is being selected and it's being updated on the main content of the page. And so if you wanted to look, you'll notice that at the top here, we just have text. And at the bottom, we have text and icons. So if we were to look quickly at what a tab bar, oops, sorry, at what a tab bar looks like, we are using the tab bar from Uno Toolkit. We have a style coming from material uh, assigned on it. And we are defining tab bar items as its collection of items to display, right? So here we just have the text of item one, two, and three set as the content of the tab bar. If we were to jump down, to the tab bar that's being displayed at the bottom of the screen. It is this one here. And we are using a bottom tab bar style coming from material. And we have that same sort of um, you know, hard-coded list of tab bar items uh, that we're setting the content, but we're also setting the icons here. So the icons can accept any icon element. So in this case, we're giving it symbol icons um, of home, phone, and setting. And so those display uh, by default within your tab bar item. And so that is a basic run through of just using the tab bars in general. There is a lot that went into these styles to make them look like this. And there's a lot more that you can do with tab bar uh, on its own. So we're going to be jumping into all those details in the upcoming Tech Byte videos. So stay tuned. But I hope you learned something about tab bar today uh, and uh, build something cool with it. And stay tuned because we got lots more to talk about. So I'll catch you in the next one.